Hey, I'm Liv and this is the Mach-E vlog. Today we're gonna to be installing a matte screen protector on our Mach-E. Josh at the OCD plug was generous enough to send us his package so we could test it out and demo it for you. And you can probably tell that this is desperately in need of it. We've been driving this around for a couple of weeks and we've noticed that the fingerprints are a huge issue. So I can't wait to get this on and we're gonna take you along for the process and see how easy it is. Okay, so this is the package that it comes with, a little box like this. Inside the package, you get your screen protector rolled up in a little piece of PVC pipe. We actually unrolled this and left it flattened out overnight, so it would have been a little bit unruly to mess with, so this is much more practical. I'm not sure how long you'd need to leave it like that, but we did about 10 hours. Also included in the box, you get an empty spray bottle, which you then need to fill with a mixture of soap and water. You get a little instruction sheet, you get a card to squeegee out the liquid, a microfiber cloth to wipe down your screen, and an alcohol cleaning pad, which is what we're going to start with first. The instructions say to keep your fingers wet and slippy so that you're not getting any fingerprints. So I actually have a bowl of the soapy mixture that I placed in the charging cradle over here. And I have a towel because I'm a messy person, so there. Let's get these fingerprints off the screen. Oh, nice. Very effective. All right, that looks good enough. We're gonna take our microfiber cloth and see if we can buff out a couple of these smudges. We want this as perfect as possible because this is how it's gonna look permanently. <laughs> Okay, so that actually took quite a bit of work. I did a lot of buffing and now I've sort of bundled this up and I'm just kind of flicking it in places where I see a little bit of dust occasionally adhere to this pretty screen. It's kind of crazy that there's so much dust just around. It's looking pretty good though. That was actually more work than I thought it would be. Yeah, you kind of need to get multiple views and we have a couple different lights on this and every time I look at a different angle, I can see another little piece. So maybe I'm a little OCD, but that's the name of this product, the OCD plug. So <laughs> I think we're good to go. Let's do it. Ooh. So we have our sheet here and the reason I brought this towel is because you have to saturate it entirely and you're supposed to spray it while you go. So here we have the sticky side. So we have a little spray bottle and it also says to uh, saturate your fingers so that you don't get any fingerprints on the back of your sheeting. So I'm gonna do that. And then as we lift, I'm going to spray underneath it and then we're gonna flip it around and it will be facing the correct direction. I want my fingers even more wet. Seems pretty good. Now they do mention in the instructions that a larger spray bottle might make this easier, but we wanted to use what came with the device. So if you do have a large one, that could benefit you, but we're gonna make sure that we can do this with everything that it comes with. It's hard to see where that sprayer is. <laughs> And I'm trying very hard not to get this on this towel, which is probably a dust magnet. And I'm just gonna lay this down on our sheet here. 
sticky side up and spritz the whole thing all over. So we have a nice sucky mess here. And now we are gonna spritz off screen, which already got a little spritz on it, it seems, but spritz all over this. And we're already out of liquid. <laughs> that is small. Now to open this up, which is hard when your fingers are all soapy. I can see why a bigger spray bottle would be useful. Okay, that was very useful to have a camera person who can open that up. I'm just gonna dip this in our soapy water over here to fill it up again. And get this going. It doesn't actually close too easily, but that's all right. As long as it spritzes. Mm, that's more effective. Okay, before we pop this on, I'm going to give it a fresh spritz. Now we are going to lay it gently onto the screen. And actually, let me get my fingers a little wet again. This is just a messy thing. I'm gonna aim for that hole right there and press it on gently. You can see that adhering and we don't want it to stick too tightly that we can't move it. I'm just gonna Make sure we get it in a nice spot. Have an even space all the way around. Kinda wants to slide around and that's just fine. Ooh, and I'm actually going to move my towel underneath the screen. So we don't have to worry about any of that. Well, honesty, that's looking pretty great already. It kinda wants to slide down so I found the amount of space that I like, and I'm gonna see if I can sort of secure it a bit. Not really. <laughs> the more it trips, the more it grips. So that's not a bad thing. Once you have it in an orientation that you like, we are going to spray the screen, and then we're going to use a little card and drag that across the screen. So we don't have very much spray left in here. So let's see if that is enough for this. I actually like spraying with the thumb better, I think. It's just gonna spritz on the outside and apparently the steering wheel too. And now I sort of know where I want this to be up top. I'm gonna hold it in position. And he said to sort of start from the center. When I say, when I say he, I mean Josh, the maker. So we're gonna just press the liquid outside and see if that sort of holds the position for us. Check the orientation while we're doing that. I wanna keep moving it over a little. And the instructions actually say to start from the top. And he mentioned to start from the center. So it seems like all roots lead to the same place. So we will try and see what works. It seems to be wiggling up top the most. So it makes me want to start from there. Isn't it disconcerting having this much liquid on this beautiful screen? And they do mention that bubbles and things like that are to be expected. It's gonna take a little while for this thing to center and sort of set itself.
And can you see that even though we've pressed it down quite a bit, we still have a lot of movement that we can do. It was sort of sliding down a bit and I can just wiggle it back into place. Like it's not, not so set that you're stuck. And they do mention that the screen itself, the screen protector is quite a fragile thing. So I think that might be why you spray water on it before you drag this card over it. So we don't want to assume that it can take that much scraping. So I'm trying to be quite gentle and I'm not pressing too hard at all. I know there are air bubbles, but I'm not worrying about it too much. And what I might actually do is spritz the outside of the screen again so that we have a lot of traction on the outside because what we want is to press on the inside more. Not a lot of traction on the outside. Yeah. He said, so we have a lot of traction. I do want a lot of, oh, I, I want no traction on the outside. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want any resistance on the outside and all oh, the resistance on the inside. Thank you. So I'm going to fill that spray bottle again and get the help of the handy cameraman. I'm going to spritz it on the outside again. All right, let's spritz the outside to clarify so that there's no resistance on the outside when we are scraping over it. And then press it across and really we're just pushing all the liquid out that is inside this. And as you can see, sliding down again. It's all right. We're not stressing. The instructions do say to work from the top in rows. So that's kind of what I'm doing. And then when I spoke to the owner, he did mention to work from the center, but that made me uncomfortable because I couldn't sort of control where this aligned. And it's kind of hard to see what's going on down here personally. But it seems like you can sort of do whatever you're comfortable with. And put the towel back, Liv. little air bubbles we can press inwards because there's obviously a gap where the hole is the dial so I just peeked at the instructions again and all it says is to be uh, very careful when you wipe this dry so in a moment we're gonna wipe it with the microfiber cloth and wipe all the liquid off and uh, at that point, it's more delicate than you would assume. So it's kind of nice watching this adhere and you can see how it's adhering to the screen. I do see streaks and stuff that I'm really hoping are not underneath. <laughs> so there are some streaks over here that may be underneath. Uh, Patrick just mentioned that he thinks maybe it's the soap. So I'm hoping that's something that dissipates as this settles and sort of forces the liquid out. I think we've got a lot of the liquid out. So we're going to I'll press it a little more down here and then we're going to wipe it with our microfiber cloth. We do have some air bubbles and stuff, but they're by the corners. I'm not too worried. We have some in the middle. Um, let's hope those go away too. <laughs> I feel like that one could just pop itself out there. It went away. Nice. Being very gentle with this. Yeah, they kind of wipe away when they're at the corners. It's very nice. Not sure if you can see that from that angle, but like an air bubble there just wipes away. Oop. To be honest, even with the streaks, it looks better than the fingerprints. <laughs> I do hope the streaks go though. Yeah, we have those streaks. We have a couple little air bubbles, but I feel like if I go over again with the card, uh, then it might be being too rough with the material. So I think, I think we'll let it sit for a bit. Okay, it's been a couple hours and we actually talked with Josh at the OCD plug who makes this. And he said that these streaks are probably due to the fact that I had too much soap solution. So the amount that you need to use is actually one drop of soap per eight ounces of water. Around about, I used way more than that. He thinks that hopefully in a couple days, these streaks could dissipate. 
What I've decided to do is I've wrapped the plastic card that came with the kit in the microfiber cloth to sort of soften it a bit. And I'm just kind of dragging it along the streaks and I'm noticing that some liquid is occasionally coming out of these areas. So I sort of want to help this along the way. Obviously it happened with other ones before we filmed, <laughs> but we're going to leave this for a couple days. I'm just kind of trying to be gentle with this and we will touch base again and, and see if this is perfect. And if not, then you'll know better than us to have the right solution. I do see that little dot. That's the bubble that uh, yeah. you might want to try to get out. There is a bit of glare, at least in the camera, but can you see glare there? No, I'm not seeing glare. There was a couple of times where I could tell it was like, you know, it, it would have been blindingly glare, uh, a blinding glare, but it's not so bad. Yeah, where it would have been a blinding glare, you get that sort of fuzz, right? Like the yeah. matte fuzz, but it's just taking the place of what would have been glare. So, And here it is with the light display. Lots and lots of bright sun in the way. <laughs> Okay, so we've had the screen protector on for a couple days. We kept checking in on it and it was getting better and better. And you can definitely see some of the spots where I used too much of the soapy solution there on each side. And there's one little spot somewhere here that is a tiny bubble. I personally am not bothered enough to redo it. Uh, if you were, I think it would be pretty simple to redo. Um, or peel off at least, that would be interesting. What about you? Does it bug you so much? No, like when we were sitting in the garage, I was like, oh, there's a bubble, but now it's like I can't even see it. Um, and I think it's way better, even though like you can see some of the reflection now when you put your hand there. Um, it's just way better on the eyes, if you ask me. And it just is not as annoying as having fingerprint smudges everywhere. Yeah, there's nothing I can do to sort of make it leave any fingerprints. And before, we were certainly not trying to leave fingerprints. And you probably saw that if you've watched any of our other videos, like how bad it was. We were definitely not trying for that. And even just navigating the screens and, and touching random things, you would get fingerprints. And that's just not an issue now. Oh, the, I saw the, the dot. The huh. touch sensitivity seems fine, so... Yeah, oh yeah, it seems great. Do you see that dot right there? Barely. I, yeah. I don't think it even showing up on the camera. You it's know what we need to do? Finger. We need to have french fries and then test it out. Oh my god. <laughs> french fries and pizza and Yes. Meatballs well, we had french fries last weekend, so. <laughs> That's true, we did. Or I did. You didn't. Oh, I didn't. Right. It's all your fault that the screen was mushy. I can't. <laughs> no, I think it looks good. Yeah, I mean, uh... You guys will have to let us know if you think we should fix it. If it bugs you, <laughs> um, we'd be happy to do another video, but it doesn't, it really doesn't bother me. And uh, I have a screen like this on my iPad, uh, a matte screen protector, and I personally prefer it. And I really like it on this. So granted, I am used to this kind of experience. So let they, us know what you think. They also have them for the driver's screen, which we do not have it on there. I'm. What do you think? Should we add it to the driver's screen? I sort of don't mind it not being uh, protected or anti-fingerprints because I never touch it. But it is different than that. What do you think? What do you think? I think we probably should just to be consistent. And I, I really do like the matte effect. I do. Like uh, from here, I can see your steering wheel in the dash screen very clearly. It's it's reflecting quite quite strongly and I feel like you just see more ghostly impressions here. It's it's just not as blinding if I'm seeing my hand reflection in the screen. 
Cool. That was super fun. I'm really glad that we did this. I think it's a great improvement. If you are interested in this product, we will put the link down below. I personally think it's an endorsement, uh, although we've only just driven a couple minutes with it. So far, we are going to test it this weekend. So if you're interested, look down below and let us know what you think of this product as well. If you've had any experiences, please share them down below so other people can learn from your knowledge. Cool. Well, hopefully this helped you out. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to stick around and subscribe. Bye.